Hi, Pastor Gary here from CLF. It is Wednesday, July the 8th, 2020. Hope you and your family are doing well. We continue to pray for you and uh, attempt to serve and minister to you in the best way uh, that we can. I wanted just to share some thoughts with you today and a couple of decisions that I've made. Uh, I just will confess to you that it's a challenging time to be a leader. You know, we make decisions for ourselves, uh, but as a leader, I also have to make decisions that impact uh, other people. I've talked with our, our board, our staff, I've read, I've listened, I've, I've tried to pay attention to what's going on around us. Uh, and so with those things in mind and with consultation of the Good Shepherd, our, our ultimate leader, uh, Jesus, uh, I've tried to, to make a couple of uh, decisions that I want to share with you uh, today. I recognize there are a couple of things happening at the same time. As the numbers are going up, and none of us can deny uh, that the numbers uh, are going up, it is happening, they are increasing. Uh, there is a surge in the reports of positive cases. Uh, and uh, people are still getting sick. Uh, I understand that. And uh, we recognize that. But at the same time, we recognize that some of the cases are asymptomatic. Some of the cases are just positive antibodies where someone had the disease and they never even knew it, were never sick. Uh, people are testing positive but show no signs of it. Uh, so I understand that, and so I'm not denying that uh, side of the reporting as well, that while the numbers are going up, uh, at the same time, hospitalizations in our area are not up. Uh, the death rate is not up. Uh, our death rate in Alachua County has been very small comparatively. Many of the deaths in our county took place in, in one nursing home, and that's very sad for those families. Uh, but there's not a big alarm for our hospital system or the death rate in our area. The chances of catching COVID in our area still seem to be relatively small, but there are still people uh, who are catching it. And so I'm weighing both of those things at the same time, uh, recognizing both sides uh, of the, the issue, not taking one side or the other, but trying to balance both using faith and wisdom uh, at the, the same time. Uh, I do know more people now that, uh, that have COVID. Uh, personally, I know several uh, that have it. And so we want to pray for them and, and care for them. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a couple of steps uh, to help us. One is we're going to suspend our kids' ministry uh, for the time being. I know this is going to be hard for you families with kids. And, and we've done pretty well the last few Sundays. Uh, we've done uh, our best to keep the kids separated and put safety measures into place. But our teachers have some concern. Some of our parents have some concern uh, that we're just not able to do enough. Three-year-olds are going to be three-year-olds. They love to get in each other's business, each other's face. They love to hug and kiss. And that's the joy of being a three-year-old. Uh, but, you know, they go home to mom and dad and they go home to, to grandma and grandpa. And you know what? We want to keep mom and dad and grandma and grandpa safe uh, as well. Uh, so out of uh, some caution, we are going to suspend our kids' ministry immediately, including tonight's summer mania. I'm sad. It was great last Wednesday night. I had a bunch of kids show up. But we just don't feel like we can safely continue our kids' ministries right now. Uh, so this affects the elementary, the preschool, and the nursery. So effective today, uh, we won't have any elementary, preschool, or nursery in-person ministries. We will go online uh, with the kids on Sundays. So if you want to watch with your kids on Sundays online, you can do that. Uh, kids are welcome in the service. If you want to bring your kids into the service, we're going to continue meeting in person on Sundays. And if you want to uh, bring the kids on Sunday, if they can handle the service uh, and you know not be a huge distraction, bring them in. Uh, we understand that. Whatever decision is best for your family, uh, go ahead and make that decision. But we are going to suspend our elementary, preschool, and nursery ministries uh, indefinitely for right now. And we'll join back together as soon as we can. I look forward to the day when we don't have those restrictions, but we just think it's the best move for now. We will continue to meet on Sundays. Let me just beef up wearing the masks. Uh, I know there's a lot of controversy about the mask, but you know what? Let's, let's do it. If it helps someone, let's do it. Um, let's put our uh, responsibilities ahead of our rights. You know, I know a lot of people say, but we have the right not to wear the mask. You do. You do have the right not to wear the mask. This is America. I'm glad to be an American. Uh, but I'm also a believer. I'm also a Christian. I'm also a kingdom of God citizen. And Paul teaches us that kingdom of God people put their uh, responsibilities ahead of their rights. 
You know, Paul said that I could eat meat. He said, I can eat meat that's been offered to an idol. An idol is nothing. I can do it. There will be no consequence for me. But if a brother is offended, I won't eat that meat. I have the right, but I'm going to put my responsibility first. And let me encourage you to do that. Put your responsibilities ahead of your rights and, and let's care for each other. You know, if wearing a mask helps somebody, let's do it. Even if you don't believe that it does, let's do it. So wear the mask in and out of the building, even in the sanctuary, if you're in close quarters, wear the mask. Uh, as you're talking to people, wear the mask. Let's do our best. Wash your hands often. Let's keep our distance. Let's remember, let's not do the hugs and handshakes, okay? I know that's hard for believers as well. We want to shake hands. We want to hug, but let's just greet with a wave and, and say, I'm smiling behind the mask and just tell people that we love them and we're glad that we're here. Also, just sit with your family. Uh, do your very best not to sit uh, with people that are outside of your immediate family. Just stay with your family, please. Uh, and let's give space to other people. You know, don't put people in a position to have to uh, push you away. Let's try to keep the, the distance there. I hope you're hearing my heart. Uh, even if you don't like all the words I'm saying, I hope you're hearing my heart. Let's keep the distance up. Let's uh, take care and precaution uh, to put somebody else first. Because we don't want to to spread it if we can help it and let's take the the the, the necessary steps to do that so we're going to keep meeting in faith okay we're going to meet on sundays in person and online if you're more comfortable online do online but we will meet here on sundays with distancing with hand washing with masks as much as possible but without uh, the kids programs uh, we can go ahead with our life groups as long as we keep them small Please don't pack a, a large number of people in a small space, but let's be considerate uh, of those in the group. And if you have a larger group, maybe find a little bit larger space uh, or find a way to meet safely if in your life group. Same thing with Life Steps. This Sunday we will have Life Steps, but we'll do it safely uh, this Sunday. Uh, so we're going to move forward in faith, but let's continue with the precautions and let's maybe step up our game a little bit uh, with the precautions to take care of each other, okay? We want you to be safe and we want you to be well. Uh, please pray for uh, Pastor Fulton and Lynn and their son-in-law, Richard and Debbie, their daughter. Uh, Lynn and Richard are both hospitalized with COVID and need a touch from the Lord. They're both having significant issues. Uh, Pastor Terry and Lynn were the former pastors of CLF Church. We love them deeply. Uh, Richard and Debbie, we love deeply. And we're going to pray for them today uh, that God heals them and raises them up. So please remember them in your prayers. They've given me permission to share with you. So pray for them. So just to recap, uh, we're going to suspend our kids' ministries. We're going to step up our distancing and our mask wearing on Sundays. Uh, and we're going to be real cautious in our small groups uh, to take care of each other. Okay? And we're going to love. We're going to love. We're doing these things not out of fear, but we're doing these things out of love. Let's pray. Father, I love you and I praise you. I pray that you will just uh, help us right now to continue to care for each other, to love one another. Lord, we're not fearful. We're faith-filled. Uh, we are going to be wise, and we've got to balance wisdom and faith, and so help us to do that. And I pray that my brothers and sisters hearing this will hear my heart and my passion to, to love people and to care for people and to do all I can to, to bless people. And so I pray, Father, that you'll help us to do that and that we'll do what we need to love one another and to continue this church ministry being strong. I pray for Pastor uh, Terry. I pray for Lynn. She needs healing in her body. Lord, we pray for Lynn Fulton to be healed right now. I pray for Richard to be healed, their son-in-law, right now. I pray for Debbie to recover. I pray for Pastor Terry to be well. In the name of Jesus, we pray for them, that you would touch them and heal them. Other family members that we know that have been sick, God bless them and heal them. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and we give you glory. Put your hand of protection around everyone, and Lord, rid us of this virus, healing by the blood of Jesus. Amen and amen. If you have any questions, reach out to us here at the church, 472-5433. Email us at uh, clfnewberry at gmail.com. Uh, we'd love to talk to you and answer any questions that you have. So call us, email us if you have any questions or concerns. And uh, we'll move forward by faith. And I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you and I love you.